Hi, my name is Jonathan Hu, and this is a typical day in the life of a medical student at JAPSIM. JAPSIM follows a problem-based learning curriculum, which means that instead of lectures, we have PBL tutorials twice a week. And that's where I'm headed right now, so come with me. Oh, good morning, Cam. What's up? Hello. Dude, how long you spent on the LI yesterday? Uh, it's kind of long. I was, honestly, it was kind of hard, hard to LI. Yeah, I couldn't find any sources for mine, so I had to go on, like, PubMed. But it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I tried, I tried PowerPoint this time, so hopefully it wasn't too bad. I'm still, using, I'm still using Canva. Ever uh, since, ever since hey, I got Canva's good though. Yeah, I know, right? Good. Oh, good morning, guys. Good morning. Top of the morning, everybody. <laughs> so, another day at PBL. PBL is a three hour session where we join small groups to break down a case and pick out the relevant information we need to learn and study as future clinicians. Okay, so with the presentation, we'll just do like hypotheses. Uh, so I'll probably say pericarditis. Um, um, I think you can always like consider trauma, given that um, he could have got fallen or anything like that. So important to not rule it out. I feel like those are both good. I feel like since our patient is 64 and it looks like he has a past medical history of hypertension and diabetes, maybe the highest utility diagnosis would be a heart attack. What's pericarditis? Like, why do you think pericarditis? Um, just because he has like. Like trouble breathing, kind of has a like, chest pain, but I mean, I, I don't really know too much. Um, maybe, so. maybe we should add that to the LI list. Yeah, yeah. We can do, that's like, a good a, idea. Do a learning issue on like pericarditis. I know in the case, it's probably gonna be like labs and mm -hmm. imaging. I don't really know of any of the imaging. Like, what is an EKG? Mm -hmm. and maybe we can do that. Yeah, 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 do that LI too. Yeah, maybe timeline of an MI. Maybe that would be important. And while it's not shown here, we also have local clinicians or Jasmine faculty serve as our PBL tutors. They help us work through the cases and often add clinical pearls to enrich our learning. They facilitate our identification of problems and hypotheses within the case, and also help us figure out which labs, imaging, and other studies we want to order. And in the end, they help us consolidate our learning issues so we are ready to present the next session. At the following tutorial, we'll present the information from the previous case so that we can teach ourselves and our classmates. Okay. Don't forget that, keywords. And it's the most common cause of these three or four things. C, mops, conjunctivitis, meningitis. Oh, okay. That was good. Dude, uh, I bad. I like need to figure out how to read EKG. I know. Wait, are you going to go study that or? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that LI in the library. And then, oh, okay. Yeah. Where are you going to go? Uh, Probably going to go outside. It's kind of cold. We'll go to the mall or something. What you guys doing? Same. Outside, probably. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sounds right. good. Cool. I'll see you guys later then. After PBL, we have the rest of the day to work and study. And if you haven't had a chance to take a tour with us yet, now is probably a good time to showcase our beautiful outdoor space. This includes the Mala, which many students enjoy taking a break or studying at when they want to change the scenery. The Mala has a collection of native Hawaiian plants, which are often incorporated into our community health curriculum and even PBL cases. For example, we had in a recent case, the Kukui nut, which was used for La'au La Pa'au for constipation and inflammatory disorders. Aside from the mala, there are also plenty of indoor spaces to study. I personally head down to the computer lab or library spaces to finish my learning issues. I like to do this before studying, so I have one less thing to do, but others may prefer studying with Anki or Burpet videos first. The free time after PBL is also an opportune time for students to get involved with extracurricular activities. Some students go to home clinic, do research, or work on community health initiatives like the newly established Chinatown Health Fair or Project Heart, where we teach heart health and CPR at local high schools. That's a good study session. Yeah. Where are you guys going? I have a suturing workshop today. Oh, okay. What about you? Oh, I'm going interest group for sports med. Oh, sports med, okay. Sounds yeah. good, I'll see you there. All right, okay. See you, see you guys. See Japsum has a variety of interest groups spanning all the different specialties from internal medicine to surgery to pediatrics and psychiatry. Most of their activities take place after school or even on the weekends and include clinical skills workshops, residency panels, and networking events. All right, so I just finished studying for the afternoon, did a couple hundred Anki cards and watched some videos, and now I'm going to go suture elective with my friend Steph. Come with me. There are also plenty of electives offered throughout each unit. In our second year, the first block offers a suturing elective. Here you see Steph practicing her running sutures. 
And here you'll see me practicing my one-handed knot tying. Other days of the week are filled with lectures, clinical skills activities, anatomy, which we can't actually show here. But if you come for a tour, we'd be happy to show you. But beyond everything we just showed you, here at Jabsim, we value one thing, wellness. So here's some of our classmates enjoying time in the lounge. And that's it. That's basically a day in a life at Jabsim. Hope this was helpful and hope to see you all soon.